Hi everyone. Um, today in this tutorial, uh, I want to show you how you can configure your startup network or uh, startup network. Sorry, startup programs uh, in your Windows 7 uh, OS. Uh, although I have demonstrated uh, this tutorial on the Windows 7, uh, it works fine also in Windows XP um, in XP Service Pack to all all the windows open system so the first thing you should do you should first click on the start and from the start you simply search for run and here is our run program when it comes simply click on it after clicking on this thing this uh, run dialog will come there you write msconfig uh, remember the spelling msconfig after you are done typing simply press enter now when you press enter then this window will come up and within this window uh, we will be interested in the startup tab so we go there and it is showing me so many options around here now be careful with this window because this is very sensitive to Windows operating system uh, so make changes uh, very carefully now from there on you can see there are several startup items I have Adobe Acrobat and antiviruses Windows logon QuickTime so many things there the startup now the it is basically a list of the processes or programs that you have within your system now to disable them simply click on the right button and the right button will disappear which will show that um, this service won't be started up during the startup process so uh, previously i had magic test start started up uh, from the startup now to disable it i simply click there in the tick mark box and the tick will go away and tell me that this program will start up uh, at the start when we first log in. Now, this is a very useful tool to debugging your uh, viruses by hands too, because uh, there are certain viruses. These are the startup just uh, uh, at the window startup time. So this would be a nice trick to solve them. Um, and one more thing you can recognize those viruses by the manufacturer name if you don't see any manufacturer name uh, it have to be a you know, virus so be aware of those things um, and this is quite it is and when you are done with this list uh, simply click on apply now one limitation of is that you can't add your own exes to this list means there are no such button called add item to this program list they are fixed so uh, you can't do you can't do that your program will run at the startup only the install programs in your system you can uh, check the tick mark out or check the tick mark in like this thing you can control them and finally click on ok now when you click on OK, it will tell you to restart the machine or exit without restart and I will exit without restart. So thanks for watching this video.